All right, time to play some Hitman. It's been a while since I played, mostly because it's been too damn hot, and also my air conditioning is uh, kind of uh, well, it needs it needs cleaning. It's uh, been leaking recently, you know, putting some towels underneath to catch all the drips. But we got some guys coming to clean clean it tomorrow. So uh, as of this recording, but anyways, we got some Hitman. Uh, I gotta do this fast because. Uh, like after a certain time, uh, it starts leaking. So anyways, uh, right now we've got the Procurers, which uh, I don't think I've ever played because this is a Hitman 3 uh, elusive target. And then we also got these ones, but I'll play them later. The uh, Ex-Dictator and Chameleon. I've played these two, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll get to those when we get to them. But this is August, so we finally got a roadmap. And uh, let's see, let's uh, not do that one yet. Because I want to do the other one. The one that I haven't done. So, here we go. Only got 21 hours left. <laughs> so, let's get to it. Good morning, 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities, as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. All right, so yeah, we got some uh, rather nasty characters here. Uh, let's see... We got for the intel. You can read that if you want. Ah, all right. Hmm. Well, we can probably surmise that the uh, secret ingredient is people. <laughs> but uh, let's just, uh, you know, get through this, shall we? You can read that if you want. Pause the video. All right. So this is a Hitman 3 elusive target, so I don't know much about it, but at least I have uh, Dartmoor all maxed out, so I can choose where I want to go, at least uh, what the elusive target will give us. <clears throat> so let's go with the uh, staff uh, room uh, as a guard. Let's see, what can I take here? Uh, yeah, I might take this gun. The... Uh, the emetic gun, tranquilizer gun thingy. Uh, lethal pills. Lethal pills. In case I want to poison them. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think I'll be picking that many locks. But, oh, you know what? I'll just get the concealable baton and then I'll smuggle in a, uh, let's see. Hmm. Should I smuggle in a gun? Maybe a suppressed pistol? Do, 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 do. Where is the pistols? Oh, we are already on the pistols. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go with the... Um, let's go with the silver ballers. Nice two on it. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Do I have a three? Hold on. I want to check. No, it was just the uh, red trinity, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with the uh, silver ballers, mainly because um, it's got the steady aim perk on it, so that's good. Oh, you can go gold baller. Oh, this one's a full auto, right? Yeah. You know what? We'll just stick with the classic silver baller. Oh, you know what? No, no. Yeah, classic. We'll go with classic. All right. So we got our stuff. We got the guard outfit with the silver baller right next to the uh, spawn. Uh, we've got the uh, emetic dart gun, some lethal pills just in case, and a baton to knock people out. Okay. 
Let's do this. Like I said, this is Hitman 3. Because this is in Dartmoor, so I don't know much about it. I'm going to try to play this as fast as possible, so if I make any mistakes, that's because of the situation outside. Uh, well, not outside. The uh, air conditioning situation here, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just wait for this thing to load, and then we'll... Uh, we'll get to the actual game. Come on. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. Okay. So, we don't have a crowbar. We just try to grab some stuff here. Nope, that's nothing. That's just a list. Uh, fire poker. Ancient key. You know what? I'm just going to drop that. I need a crowbar. Give me a crowbar. Okay, that's pretty nice. We got a uh, enforcer right there. <laughs> All right, sure. So I think I know where I can get a crowbar. So let's just uh, jump out here for a bit. And let's just go up here. We'll run across and make sure nobody sees us. At least. This uh, is a restricted area, and I can't let you through. Yeah, gotta I don't move on. Care, bro. <laughs> Okay. I demand that you return my call You can go around. All right, let me get myself adjusted here. I'm sitting at a weird angle. <clears throat> all right, all right. Just need to find a crowbar. Crowbar is here somewhere. I need to grab it. And I need to... Okay. Getting close to where it is. It should be over here somewhere. I think it was. Oh, nope, that's a hatchet. That is not a crowbar, but I will take that poison. I could have sworn there was a crowbar here somewhere. And that detective asked to come here. Whoa, no, no, no. I don't think so. There might be a crowbar over here. Oh, that's right. They could change uh, change locations of things, right? So usually you get a crowbar. Uh, wait a minute. I turn on caps lock. All right. Let me just keep looking. See if I can find a crowbar somewhere. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We don't need just run through crowbar. his Crowbar. There we go. Good. Okay. We are good now. <clears throat> that Annie gets to help the photographer. There is no photographer. <laughs> How are you? All right, let me just uh, try to get back into the mansion here. Did you give the Fitzpatrick token to Madame Carlisle's Wait, order? isn't there a crowbar over here? Yes. She's insistent that one. She kept asking no, all kinds of questions. Okay. Who had the other one? Why well, gave Let me it grab to the uh, fuse. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other hey, one. I'll to grab the this too. Oh, of course. There we go. Okay, let's just avoid these guards over here. Jump up over here. And we're gonna get back to the staff room. I 
All right. Here's the master plan. My fuse box, this uh, fuse. Oh, oh, no, 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 All right, let's just turn that back on. Just in case. Anybody wants to come check that out. All right, well, that didn't quite work, but he's not suspicious of us anymore, so let's just go in here. <clears throat> Grab a few things for our uh, inventory. Bags of sugar. And grab our gun. Okay. Stick that away, and uh, all right, let's break this open, and hey, got, another, got the same disguise, huh? Well, that's just uh, great. Okay, yep. I need a bodyguard disguise. To be completely honest. Where do I find one of those? Oh, hey now. What are you doing? I thought you were, uh... Oh, wait, I'm a, yeah, I'm a security guard. Okay, that's right. All right, I'll be a gardener. Gardeners are not allowed inside the house either. So, we're just going to, uh... Get this guy's outfit as a butler. Maybe that will work. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, he doesn't suspect this, so... Let's just, uh, hang out right here. Oh, nope. <clears throat> this thing looks really old. And it looks like you're on again. <laughs> well, those wine bottles never stood a chance, but uh, let's just dump the body in here. And we are going to grab the staff outfit. All right. Good stuff. And I'm going to put this baton away. And we are good. Now let's go find those targets. Oh, I got to watch out for uh, oh, Head Butler. I got to clean my apartment. I need to find our targets. That's not our target. Now, if I can get this guy's outfit, that would be really nice. Although, I'd have to drag his body all the way over there. Oh, come on now. Really? Okay. All right. That Good was dumb. 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated. I'm out here. Each taking care of their <laughs> All right, all right. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. Yeah. These men are truly diabolical. Sure. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty dumb. But I know where the cro I, I know where the crowbar is now, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just cut around here and go a little bit faster. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. You can grab the yes, crowbar. Sure. But he, he was upset, believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled. I'm just uh, checking my microphone to see if it's recording properly. Uh, sometimes I forget to turn it on. 
Oh, you get, well, you can't see me looking, but I'm, I'm looking at OBS right now and just seeing if uh, the microphone icon is uh, not. Uh, you didn't see me. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to do this again. This time, let's not mess it up. I'll, let's not mess it up. I'll, I won't mess it up. Grab the baseball. Break on the fuse box. We're going to have to do this twice because this is really dumb. Whoa. Somebody... Somebody said something? Okay, that was weird. They could, <laughs> they could hear me break into the fuse box from all the way over there. Okay, this guy's going to go check it out. I am just going to hide here for a bit. Grab some stuff along the way. I think there's anything else in here, right? Oh, master key. I can use that. Mm, so what about that wire? Now I'll cut it. Up and running. Okay, gonna drag the body. Gonna drag that body. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna do this again. Okay, I was just checking my air conditioning. See if it was leaking again. Seems like it's good so far. Only been, what, 16 minutes? Piece of gum right there, and we're done. All right, we don't need to do anything here. Just knock them out. Turn on the fuse box just to make sure nobody's suspicious. And get that baseball. Okay, dump the body. Dump the body. Okay. All right. Let's do this again. Grab the gun. I hate people. <clears throat> that is Jack Rowe. A.K.A. Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. Oh, why? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> he turned around when I pulled the gun out. Can I salvage this? Can I salvage this? His recipes might be bold, no, no, but he is a shot, if there ever was one. Can I salvage this? If I kill him, will it be okay? Oh no! Okay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't kill him, because uh, that would have uh, locked out the restart mission. Oh, man. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separate. Oh, that was close. Keep that was close. That was very task. close. That was so close. Mr. Rowe is currently serving taste to Gregory Thanks. Carlisle, trying to entice him to become a VIP <clears throat> customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine. Okay, well, Mr. Burke is putting the final you know, on the late Zachary Carlisle. If I can get the uh, fuse box, Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human when he's around. Then because I wouldn't really have to do anything, would I? These men are truly diabolical. I could just, uh, yeah, I could just knock him out and then snap his neck and then stick him inside the closet. Huh. I could try that. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset, believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how he handled Gregory and Emma. I'm thinking. Just keep calm. I'm thinking hard. Should I do that? Should I go and do that? Oh. Just wait for him to come by. My old bones can't take much more of it. Turn off the fuse box. And then kill him. Okay, let's just jump over here. Avoid these guys. You don't see me.
Yeah, see, they can hear that. <laughs> it's so weird. Well, whatever. We don't need that. Let's do this. Grab that. <clears throat> Mr. Fernsby. Okay, here we go. Uh, no. Okay, let's just drag him in here. Should I... We could just disguise ourselves as a gardener. So we won't get uh, to, into too much trouble. Guy's going to do his talking. Whatever. Grab that poison. Grab this. Grab the soap just in case. Grab the wrench. It's starting to look like a game of Clue, or Cluedo, wherever you're from. Okay, I thought that was a uh, thing you can hide bodies in. Nope, you can't. All right, looks like he's coming in. There he is. <clears throat> that is Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. His recipes might be bold, but he is a charlatan, if there ever was one. Ah, oh, man. Not the right person I wanted. Oh, uh, uh. Robert, it's me. Do you have a second? Okay, let's just wait for him to disappear. Okay. What? What was that all about? How did he spot me? No, 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 no! Don't point Who spotted me? Did he... He spotted me? Really? Are you kidding me? What, did he... Does he have eyes in the back of his head? What's going on there? <laughs> Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their tasks. Okay. You know what? Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice let's just, him to become a VIP Let's just customer. get rid of that waiter first, because... Cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke it's, is putting the it's pretty dumb. I gotta wait for him to leave. Zachary and uh, that just takes too much time, so... ...that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. Oh, yeah, like... That's, yeah, that's, like, you know, if I get rid of the waiter, I can still be in security, and I can pull my gun out and not be suspicious, right? Yes, sure. Like, I mean, the issue wasn't the guy that, that I was wearing the gardener's outfit with a gun out. I mean, not, I, that's illegal, yes, that's of course. But I did it behind the guy's back, so he shouldn't have been able to see me. Yet he was able to see me, so that was kind of weird. I'm gonna have to look at the footage again later on to see if uh, that was a weird thing. I don't know. Maybe he turned his head. I guess I, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, whatever. Let's just do this. That's gonna be the plan. I'm going to. Let's see. I'm going to uh, lure both of those guys in, knock them out, and then I'm going to shoot him with the dart gun. Yeah, they're going to get all suspicious. Yep, that's weird, but let's just let them do that. Grab this. Okay. Cool. All right. Yep. Okay. Cool. This thing looks really old. I don't care. Let's just do this. Let's just grab you, and then let's put you away. Let's reset. 
Come on, let's do this. And a piece of gum right there. And you can just not uh, do anything. And we're going to drag you into the closet. All right, now I can get my gun out without alerting anybody. Oh, he's suspicious. Oh, okay, well, let's just not let him see. This, come on, grab it. Grab the gun. There he is. He's coming. I wonder why Robert's so agitated today. This is going so smooth. Okay. He's going to come in here and drown. Well, he's going to come in here and puke, right? And I can hide him right there. That is Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. His recipes might be bold, but he is a charlatan if there ever was one. Okay, good. Silent assassin this time. I'm gonna drown ya. You're gonna get drowned. Okay. Target down. It's not over yet, 47. One more to go. Okay. Now, since I've already taken him out. I am not going to be able to uh, restart. So this next part, I better be really good, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to have a bad time. <laughs> Let me just say that. I'm going to have a bad time. Okay, I will disguise as mansion staff. <clears throat> watch out for enforcers, okay? I need to watch out for enforcers. Those people are annoying. Okay, uh, let's see. Those are shotguns. That is somebody. Need to watch out for enforcers. You. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, that was pretty bad. I didn't see that guy there. If he wouldn't... It was, if he was an enforcer, he would have been... Uh, you would have been, uh, you know, not good. Not good at all. Okay. Let's see if we can, um... Let's see if we can go upstairs here. Let's not get caught. Okay, that's not good. Stairs for a bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Whoa, looking at the mini map to check uh, who is. It's a spacious. You verified his identity. I did, sir. It all checked out. Oh, man. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. If I break into this door, would it be really bad? This will be really bad. Oh, no, I have the key. <laughs> That's right. I completely forgot. I have the key. Okay, laptop. I don't need. What is this? This is... Just making sure there's nobody here. It's a secret door. Yes, sirree. Aha. Wait a minute. If I open this door, will it? Oh, that's him, right? That should be the guy. Let's close this door for right now. That's him. That's our dude. And he's drinking. Oh, snap. Okay. I found something. Oh, oh no, no, no. Is he coming in here? Okay, good. No, he's not. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay. 
Okay, our target's right there. I need to plan this properly. That's our target right there, right? That's him. Right? Mr. Dude. All right. Oh, I need my cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes, huh? Okay. All right. I do have one more tranquilizer round, but I, I would rather want to save it just in case. I do. Oh, wait. I do have, um... I do have a medic rat poison, right? Yes, I do. Now I just need to find out where the bathroom is so I can drown him. Okay, that's uh... uh should I use this? Oh, I can't... I can't restart. That's a bad idea. That's just a terrible idea. Is there anything in there I can use to kill him with? Oh, I can shoot the uh, chandelier. Oh man, I really need a security, uh, 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 a bodyguard outfit. Well, he's not suspicious of me. It's just his two bodyguards, right? This guy and the guy that walks with him. I really want to save that, so... Let's, uh... Let's close this door for right now. We'll, we'll find another avenue of attack here. We'll just, uh... Let's just, uh, you know, go around here for a bit. Oh, no. That's another bodyguard I gotta watch out for. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I can't go that way. I can go this way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where does this lead to? Okay, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's not a good idea. There is a maid there, and I don't want to get caught. So let's just... Go this way, and let's just... Keep walking. Climb through here. Oh, I don't have the um, the cane to open up that door. Ah, oh, man. Okay. All right, that's not good. I need to find. I actually. Yeah, I should. Sorry. Did you want to check on that undertaker in charge of the funeral? I got word he's upset with Madame Carlyle. I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? This is bad. I need a plan. I need a P-L-A-N. see me doing this. Okay, let's go this way. Don't know why I'm doing this, but uh, whatever, you know. Any, 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 um... You know, we gotta, we gotta find our options here. We gotta see how we're gonna do this. Hmm. 
Okay, so he does go back. It's his cycle. Goes back, does his thing, paces around, drinks some water, or beer, or whatever. Ah, man, how am I going to do this? I could get this guy sick, right? I could do it. And then I can knock out the only guy there so I can get a security guard outfit. This is my chance. This is my chance. If I'm going to take it, I better take this. Let's take it. Okay, good. Let's just do, 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 Okay. All right. Let me just change views here. All right. I wasted it, but that's okay. All right. Now go and get out. Get out of here. All right, you're good. Whoops. I'm going to have to knock this guy out. Door closed, door closed, door closed. G-dump and grab his outfit now. Yes. Grab the stuff, grab the stuff, grab the stuff. Poison the thing, poison the thing. Lethal pills. Oh, that works even better. I forgot I had those. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Yes. 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 Okay. I don't have to wait for him to go to the bathroom. I can just watch him die. Yes, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I used the lethal pills. Okay, good. That is Robert Burke, an embalmer for the mourners who can afford him. His actions to please Mr. Rose's fiendish appetite make him an equally diabolical confederate. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Yes! Eliminated. Find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. Yes, 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 yes. Silent Assassin. All I need to do is get out of here and I can do it. I can do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I grabbed those lethal pills. Oh, thank goodness. I need to exit. I need an exit. Right here. Good. On top of everything, Rosie. I completely forgot I had those lethal pills on me. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That was nice. Yes, Silent Assassin. All right, let's get that. Silent Assassin, come on, give it to me. Yes, all right. That is that. Boom, Silent Assassin. All right, that's cool, cool. I, I was just, I was really, I was really lucky. I was gonna, I was gonna poison him with the emetic, but I, I just, I saw lethal pills on there, and I just immediately clicked on it. I was like, okay, that's that's gonna work even better. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, that was uh, that was the procures. Not too bad. It's only thirty nine minutes, so less than an hour, less than an hour. So, um, did I do this one? Uh, I don't think I have enough time. Let me just uh, check my air conditioner here. Eh, it looks like it's okay, but I'm going to stop it for today. That's that's about it for today. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>